Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Martin Brisson and today I will talk to you about boredom. No, uh, lots of people feel uh, bored, uh, especially nowadays, right? Because in my time, no, we, we were not, our life was not so filled. Like I remember when I was young, I, I grew up in a kind of a semi-rural place and there was not that much to do and still we found things uh, to do um but nowadays everything is so scheduled um especially the kids no they they don't have any time to be to be bored because every night there's a, a new activities uh they go to day camp in the summer and every single second is filled with 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 something so we forgot <laughs> <laughs> to be uh, to to be bored i was uh, waiting somewhere and i was looking at, around me and everybody was on their phone no uh they couldn't be in silence or calm for 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 a couple of minutes mind you i had a kindle with me so it's not much better but i thought it was interesting and so that and that and also a special request uh brought me to talk about boredom today. So if we look at the definition uh, of boredom, apparently it's an emotional, occasional, psychological state experience when an individual is left without anything in particular to do and is not interested in their surrounding or feels that day or period is dull or tedious. So it's a specific mental state that people find unpleasant, a lack of stimula stimulation that leaves them craving relief and that's the crux of it no they feel this boredom and they feel that something has to change no it feels unpleasant and something's got to give right but it's just a passing thought like any 60,000 to 100,000 thoughts that we have in a day but we make a big deal out of it right it's it feels important and we keep rethinking about oh my god i feel bored and we forget we totally forget that we are the thinker right and we are the one who decides who um how important it is and michael neal said or wrote some in his, in his book he wrote that think of a problem just think of a problem and now ask yourself, will this problem still exist if I stop thinking about it? And that's really what it is, right? Um, because problems will grow more you put your attention to it. Oh, I feel bored. I feel bored. What can I do? Uh, not again. And we put more more emphasis to that and the, the problem seems to to grow totally forgetting that we are the thinking we are the one who put emphasis on it we are the one who makes a big deal out of it so just stop thinking about it for for a minute and just focus on something else find something else to do um, if you just stop putting all your oh i feel bored i feel bored and maybe wisdom will tell you something else that you could that could that you could do in this particular moment no go and have a picnic no um you can even picnic in your own living room i remember when i wanted to do a little picnic with my kids and that day was raining so we did the picnic in the living room we put the blanket out and we made all as if we were picnicking um you could listen to a TED talk you could try to cook something you never cooked before um visit a museum um learn a new language or a uh, a new instrument uh, could just go walk in in nature that's free <laughs> there's all kinds of other things that you could be we, that you could be done 
But when we keep thinking about, oh, I'm bored, I'm bored, and that maybe that boredom feels also familiar. And because it feels familiar, it must be true. It must be real because I keep feeling that feeling. And we forget, like I said, that we are the, the thinker, we are the making of our own experience. And there's lots of resistance to that, to that feeling because, oh, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way. Um, and it makes, makes it much bigger than it really is. And I think Michael Neal also said something like, he asked a, a woman, I think it's in the Inside Out Revolution. And he asked her a woman, what she made of the fact that her experience was fluctuating much more quickly than her circumstances were changing. Circumstance stays the same. What her thinking about that circumstances goes up, up and down. So we, we're in a, the one who makes shit up, right? So you feel this boredom, you re resist it to it, and you, you try to find something else to do. And that's when people maybe get to um, some kind of addiction. Um, Any kinds of addiction, those uh, pick your favorite uh, poison or uh, shopping, alcohol, weed, um, whatever. But like I said, when we only, when we realize it's only thought in the moment and it will go through us um, and we have really nothing to do, maybe, or maybe just find something more positive to do. Um, and actually, there are benefits to, to boredom. There are benefits to, 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 to boredom. Um, because it can make you look at your life and see what, what are my interests? What do I really like? Um, what's appealing to me? Um, but you don't have to escape it through, like I said, uh, to different things. But you can think, of, oh, what would I like to do? What is interesting to me? Um, it allows moments of self-reflections. It allows moments of creativity. No? Uh, no? In olden times, no, they didn't have all the distraction that we have today. And when they were bored, that's when they were reading stories or painting stuff or creating music. So there are benefits because you can develop creative thinking, um, take a break in, of our busy life. They just try different things, no? Just scrolling mindlessly on Facebook uh, or YouTube. Well, it's just busyness for business. But when you take, like I said, take time to self-reflect or try something new, um, you never know what you'll discover about yourself. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with being bored. It could be also a catalyst to, to change. No, maybe you'll try something new that you'll love, even if you're good or not. It doesn't really matter. If you like it, why not? No, let's say creative writing. Doesn't that, no, obviously the first time around is not going to be good. Right? <laughs> but if you enjoy it and you have a good moment for uh, doing it, why not? Why not? No. Uh, so it could be a, a trigger to find a new hobby, or find a, a, a new goal. Um, but when you're constantly doing something as we're uh, so accustomed to do now, well, we don't, we don't reconnect to who we really are. We don't discover new things about ourselves or new interests. So there's a good thing uh, about uh, boredom. But like I said, we are the thinker. And when you overthink, 
oh, I'm bored, I'm bored. Well, the, the, the problem is just to go, to go bigger and bigger. So just maybe take time and find something to do or find a new hobby and take it as a positive because that's where we discover new things. No, it's not during the plague that the calculus was uh, discovered because the guy was born. I mean, doesn't mean that you have to go into math, uh, but there are benefits in, in, in being born. So that's all I have to uh, tell you today and I'll probably catch you next week. Cheers. <laughs>